Yo, what's up guys? I am back here again with another review and this time we are covering an amazing movie. It is such a masterpiece. It's just gorgeous. That's right, The Amazing Bulk. So The Amazing Bulk is a movie. It came out in 2013 apparently. It is directed by Louis Gobrun. I don't know if that's his name. His name is right here. And it is also starring Terrence Larding and Siobhan Castle. So it's about a scientist who works for the government who's creating this secret steroid to make their soldiers superhuman. Unfortunately, it goes terribly wrong and he's the last person to use the steroid and the only person to use the steroid when it finally worked. So he is then assigned by the government to kill this evil terrorist who is basically a grade F Dr. Evil who sits in a castle and blows shit up. I'm not joking. This actually happens and it is amazing. Like for real, this dude blew up like the Taj Mahal, Eiffel Tower, the White House twice, I believe. So there's also a subplot about how the main character, the scientist guy, he's been this one girl for a few years and he's trying to get her parents permission for marriage and it happens to be that her dad is his boss and so that's one of the sub conflicts in this movie. So for those who've seen the trailer or heard about it or seen any clips, you kind of know what you're getting into with this movie. So how did this actually get made? Well, it was shot for $14,000 apparently, and they had a five day production schedule, which is all in front of the green screen, and the rest of you stock footage. It's definitely a unique experience watching it, that's for sure. It stands out in the crowd immensely. So is it unique? Yes. Is it good? Uh, depends how you look at it. So how is the acting in this movie? Well, I mean, a lot of people describe it as not very good, but honestly, I commend every actor who worked on this because everything was made up. Like, they had almost no real props, nothing. They just had to imagine all of that. And as, as an actor, that is something really, really challenging to do. So you may be wondering, hey, they shot this in front of a green screen. Like, where did all the budget go? Probably stock footage. I mean... Like, it is not cheap at all. In fact, look right here, you see this? Yeah, so that cost me 15 bucks to get the rights to. It's not cheap. So what exactly did I like about this experience? Well, first off, it is very unique. It is definitely an interesting film among the board, but also uh, some scenes are just golden. Like, I'm not sure, it's popular on YouTube. Um, there's the chase scene got leaked. It is amazing. I mean, that scene just blew me away. It has so much gold in it, you guys don't even know. And what did I not like about this movie? Well, this, this could go on for like a while, as, as a critical's perspective. They have like no real props whatsoever. Some of the cars look like they're made out of Microsoft Paint. And also, like I said, the acting isn't that great because it was they had to make up everything. And there's a lot of really unnecessary stock footage for sure. It looks, some of it is pretty amazing, but um, they kind of went a little bit overboard, I think. So once again, I'm gonna give it my deadlock rating because if you look at it as a critical's perspective, you will hate this movie. You will walk out in like 10 minutes. Like critical's perspective, it is an absolute nightmare. But if, if you know what you're getting into, if you've seen the trailer and you're just like, I'm just here to have a good time, uh, you know, enjoy it with my friends, you are going to love this movie. And that's how I viewed it. That is my review and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.